This is Wolf from Wolf's Den. A lot of you were curious about my new M22 that I just posted. I went out today and I shot a little over 200 rounds and I'm going to give you some initial impressions. All right. The I shot two different rounds. I shot the CCI mini mags and I shot the Winchester Super X's. The Winchester Super X's did not do so well. I had a number of failure to feeds. I switched to the CCI mini mags and that's the one I've been recommended. But I just wanted to try something different. And as I go along I'm going to try several different rounds to see how it does and even go back to the same ones. The mini mags fed nearly flawlessly. The only thing I found is if I loaded the full 10 rounds into the magazine sometimes I would get a double feed. I switched to eight rounds and didn't have a single problem. I think once it's broken in some of these problems will cease. As I mentioned in my earlier video it and my Glock 19 feel almost identical. What I did notice is the M22 has a Picatinny rail instead of the Glock rail so my Glock accessories don't fit. Not that I was really worried about it but I had to try it. The disassembly of the gun is very similar but not quite to the Glock. Pull the hammer. Pull down on the slide release. With this one you pull all the way to the rear, raise slightly, and try not to let it go. You only have three major parts, and from what I have read, that's as far as the manufacturers recommend you break it down. You have your slide, a spring, and the lower receiver. The barrel. This is an extremely accurate barrel. I was able to put 20 to 30 rounds in a half dollar size grouping. For me, that's really good shooting. I know some of you could probably do that all day long, but I was really surprised at the accuracy. The other thing I noticed, which is kind of interesting, most of the weight of this gun is in the bottom receiver. The slide is extremely light, which makes sense since it's a 22. So all your weight is down here which makes a very good feel when shooting. The spring goes onto the barrel and the barrel acts as its own guide rod. Since it 
protrudes out the front of the slide. The only thing you have to watch, just like that, is you get the spring lined up so the barrel can go through it. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get on. Just like that. You've got to get the spring over the barrel and compressed. Again, that's the exact thing I had happen. I'm trying to do this at an angle. Usually, it's a lot easier than this. There it goes. The other thing, pull it all the way back. Hmm. I've never had that issue before. There it goes. One of the safeties this has is it will not fire without a magazine in the chamber. So it has to have the magazine in there in order to fire. As I said before, the safety and decocker on the end. Now, what I'm planning on doing, I'm planning on polishing the feed ramp. If any of y'all have any suggestions, since this is a fixed barrel, and not a removable barrel, if anybody has any suggestions on the best way, I was thinking just a Q-tip and get in there and just work it in. But if anybody has any better ways to polish the feed ramp, I would appreciate it. Well, that's what I've learned for right now. I'll keep you all updated as I keep playing with it. Y'all have a good one now.